All right. Well, we will go ahead and get started. We'd like to proudly welcome the winner of the 2024 Puerto Rico Open, Bryce Garnett. Bryce, could not be happier for you. I've known you for a long time, and nothing, nothing makes me happy. You're 19 under, kind of got the job done. It took four extra holes after that to get it done, but you got it done nonetheless. Congratulations on the win. Just a few opening thoughts. Thank you. Thanks for the kind words. Um, just an outstanding week from uh, from the time I got here. It was, um, I was excited to be here. I was thankful to be here. Uh, I wasn't sure when my next PGA Tour start was going to come. And uh, I was kind of gearing up for this one. I think I told you earlier in the week, this is my Augusta. And uh, it didn't get me in Augusta, I guess. Maybe I should put in for a special <laughs> exemption. Uh, but uh, it, it is uh, a wonderful week for me that opens all kinds of new doors for a uh, 40-year-old tour bet. Well, among those is a start next week at the Players' Championship. Just a few initial thoughts on how, how much that means to you. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of perks that come with winning the Puerto Rico Open, but you're now in the Players' Championship. How exciting is that? It's, it's unbelievable. It's my favorite tournament of the year. Um, it's two hours from Valdosta, Georgia, where I live. Um, I love the golf course. Uh, I love everything about the golf tournament. And uh, It'll be a little whirlwind the next couple of days, but um, I'm all for it, and uh, we're, we're, we cannot wait to get there and play that golf tournament. And when I talked to you earlier in the week, you, you kind of sheepishly said, and it's my first start of the season, what was your mindset like coming into the week? And then as you kind of crept up the leaderboard, did that mindset change at all? Um, no, not really at all. I didn't look at a leaderboard um, the last two days. Um, but... You know, I've been playing these little four-day mini tournaments at home the last two weeks, uh, focusing on getting to 12 to um, 18 under uh, in those four days. And uh, we got to 12 after 36. And then once we got to uh, 18 with a few holes left, uh, I told my caddy, Chris, let's get to 21. So <laughs> I kind of kept moving that target. But, uh, yeah, that is definitely the mindset. I came here to win the golf tournament, and uh, it's probably something I need to do more often in the near future. And Eric obviously hung in there quite well. I mean, he's amazing. He just won bogey all week, and he hung in there. He sank some putts. How much pressure did that put on you? Gosh, I just wanted to play a different playoff hole. I got tired of watching him hit it so far down the middle of the fairway, uh, and then I had to lay up every uh, every time. But, uh, you know, we just stuck to our game plan, and um, that's amazing. Eric won bogey on the week. Uh, he's a great player, great guy. Um, I know he's battled through a few injuries the last year or so, but, uh, you know, it's a great week for him, and I'm sure he's looking to build on it. Okay. Uh, do we have any questions here? I'd be happy to take some questions. We just uh, we stuck to our game plan. I, I, I was I was right there around 300 yards to the front of the green every playoff hole, and that's just too far for me to uh, to try to push a three wood up there. Um, so I just uh, continued to lay up to a, a really good wedge number. I hit some good wedges in there, um, and then the fourth hole uh, is the exact same putt I had on the first playoff hole. So I, I knew exactly what the putt did, and uh, I just had to hit it a little bit harder uh, the second go round. Uh, the wind was definitely, you know, something that's challenging every every time we come here. But it's something I always look forward to. Uh, I grew up playing in a lot of wind, uh, and and it's a reason that I really love to come play in the Puerto Rico Open. Um, so yeah, that was a good challenge this week. I think this is not your first time here. No. But it's your first championship. Yeah, it's it's great. I, I believe it's my eighth or ninth year, eighth year here maybe. Uh, so we love coming here every year. Um, people are great. The food's great. Um, and, and my first PGA victory came next door at the Dominican Republic. So there's something about the island golf and this type of grass that, uh, that I really like. She was talking about the tiebreak. What goes on in your mind when you are not able to you know, finish the game? Yeah, well, uh, at one point I told Chris, I was like, geez, I'm tired of Eric just hitting it so far past me, you know, and. Uh, he said, well, the worst we can do is second. So uh, that was, you know, it was exciting for us uh, to win, but, you know, more, it just wasn't much pressure playing the playoff. Um, it was life-changing, yes, but uh, it was still going to be a good week regardless of what happened on the, in the playoff. In your plans for Ryan to be, you know, coming next year and, you know, trying to be the first player to win back to 
Well, that would be that would be special. So we'll just have to see where my schedule takes me. But um, yeah, if I'm a, if I'm you know available to come back, I'm definitely going to come back and defend this thing. And after this tournament, what's next for you? Next tournament, do you have a contract? Yeah, we'll be uh, we'll go to the players next week in uh, Ponte Vedra, and then I'm sure um, I really love playing in Tampa at the Vals Bar, and then I might take a little bit of time off. Um, I have a big spring break trip planned with my family and another uh, another family to uh, Turks and Caicos uh, in about a month. So we're excited about that, and uh, we're just going to c- celebrate this for a while. Will you send a message to the Puerto Rican fans that were there, you know, rooting for you every single time? Yeah, the Puerto Rican fans here have been amazing. Um, like I said, I got to play with Rafa yesterday, and the crowds were awesome. Um, so supportive, and it's just great to see, uh, you know, Rafa play well and, and bring people out here. Um, and then during the playoff, it was it was awesome. The whole green, the, all the grandstands were completely full, um, and the energy was there um, late late into the evening. So, you know, we, we appreciate all the support and all the hospitality from uh, from all the fans here. I guess yeah. Dominican Republic is a, in a special place for you now for <laughs> Exactly, yeah, these are two special, very special places for me, and uh, we'll definitely remember, uh, you know, Puerto Rico and, and this golf course and the people, and uh, we'll cherish every, every minute of it. Yeah, I was away just a little bit. Even though he was off the green, I was a few uh, feet um, away, further away than he was. So um, it's kind of a welcoming um putt because if the first one in the hole adds a little bit of pressure to the next guy so um i fully expected eric to make that putt and uh, i think he hit a good putt it just just kind of slid over the edge again congratulations from uh, puerto rico and uh golf for puerto rico would like to um, ask you about your consistency we can see that you really had a lot of consistency in your shots you yeah that's that's my whole uh game you know, I'm not a um, a young spring chicken anymore, so uh, <laughs> I'm not a. Uh, I hit it plenty far, but not as far as a lot of these kids nowadays. And so, I rely heavily on hitting hitting fairways, hitting a lot of greens, and having a good short game. So, um, it's been very challenging because the game is changing so fast uh, with with young kids coming out and ready to win. But um, I guess there's still a little bit of room for a 40 year old out here. Well, the other thing I could see, I could see is that um, you were. Mostly in the same spot. The spot. <laughs> um, uh, you, uh, do you plan on doing it that way? Yeah, we. It was just. Uh, it was too far for me to try to hit three wood uh, and get get the ball up by that green. Um, so we just decided to lay up, you know, to a, a very comfortable wedge number that I like, um, one that kind of flew just over the ridge and would feed down to the hole. Um, I get. That number? Uh, that number was around one fifteen. Uh, Today I was playing about 10, 10 yards of help, so I was around a full hundred to one hundred five yard shot. That was a what, what wedge? It was a uh, fifty eight degree wedge, lob wedge. Okay, if no more, I've got two more questions, and then we'll cut you loose to go start the celebration. <laughs> um, number one, with the win, you pick up three hundred FedEx Cup points. You are in, like I said, the Players Championship, other select events. You're also going to Maui in 2025 for the century. Is it, is beyond the players? I know. I know that's on your mind right now. Beyond that, is all that sunk in? No, not at all. Um, I, I I really haven't thought about any of that. You know, um, it it was just a week where I was trying to come compete and, and get myself um, at the top of the leaderboard um, to be put in the shuffle of the 126 to 150 and and potentially grab a few more starts in the middle of the summer. And um, it uh, turned out to be one of the best weeks of my career. Wonderful. And that leads me to my last question. Not trying to sound too dramatic here, but obviously golf is a very, very mental, emotionally high and low game. How I've known you for a long time. You've always seemed to kind of keep yourself even, even keel. How... How much work did you have to put in, have you had to put in of late to keep convincing yourself that you can continue to do this and you can, in fact, win again? Yeah, it takes a lot, and uh, there's a lot of people that factor into that. You know, my caddy, Chris, um, he believes in me uh, probably more than he believes in uh, any golfer out here, and that's all I can ask for him. Um, You know, my wife, Suzanne, and Millie at home continue to – 
tell me each day and each week how blessed we are as a family um, and how blessed I am to play this game, you know, now that I'm 40 years old that I still love. And so, um, yeah, I've always been, you know, kind of flatline at times. That's just who I am, but uh, it worked out. It did indeed. Any other questions? Well, y'all good? All right. Well, Bryce, I couldn't be more proud of you. Couldn't be happier for you. No one I'd rather be sitting here next to you now than you. So congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.